Hey, welcome back to another Notion tutorial. In this video, I'll walk through how to create a relational database in Notion and why I think they're one of the most powerful tools in Notion. But before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and for more Notion tutorials, check out the Excel Me blog. All right, let's get started. To show you how relational databases work, what we'll do is step through a example of a task manager linking with a project folder. So to start out, we'll build out two databases, a task manager and a project folder. So first, inline database, we'll call this one task manager, and we'll just add a couple of properties as an example as well to edit. So I think we can add a status column. So just a not started, in progress and done. And I think we can also add a date, a due date for your task. We'll also widen the page so it's a bit easier to work with the database as well. So here we can also add another inline database. We'll call this one projects. So in the projects database, we can work and add a status column so again i think we can just leave it as default settings uh, and i think that's enough for this example and uh, we'll just add a couple of tasks as well so to link or create a relational database we can add a property and look for a relation and in our case, we've got one here already called projects. So stepping through some of these settings. So in limit, we can set it as one or no limit. So with one, what, what it means is we can only link one task to one project. So in most cases, you're not likely going to have um, one task split over a few projects. So I think in our case, we can set it as one page, but obviously if you have a many to many relation, you can set it as no limit. And then next on show projects, if you toggle this, what it will do is show it as a two way um, relation. So you'll be able to see the tasks and the projects, and then you can also see the projects on the task manager database. So in that case, we'll edit here and instantly you've seen it pop up in here under projects for task manager and under here as projects. What we can then do is create a new project and we'll just show another example one and link these tasks to project one. And as you can see, it's instantly popped up over here. This is pretty powerful in the sense that you can now kind of click around and find projects and tasks quite easily. So if you're say in this projects page, you can quickly at a glance, find which your key tasks related to this particular project. So another cool thing you can do with a relation, relational database is um, we can add a say project template. Let's call this project template. And then if we were to bring in the task manager, so link to view of a database, and the first one's here, so task manager. Uh, we can also add a filter here, whereby it picks up only the tasks related to that specific project. So if we say projects, uh, let's add contains, Projects contains project template. What this will do is when we add a new project template, um, it will then populate uh, this the task related to that particular project. So let's just show you walk through that as an example. So say we added a new project, say project two, and then again we just add a few dummy tasks. So task A, task B, task C. And we add this to project two. As you can see, they already popped up down here. 
And if we were to open this project and add the project template, you'll see that we've automatically filtered for those particular projects. So as you can see here, anything with an arrow is a relational database. Um, and what that really means is I'm just connecting to information inside of another database that lives elsewhere. So I mean, this is just scratching the surface of what's possible with a relational database. You can link anything from say a tagging database if you have a knowledge hub. So linking tags to various knowledge and notes databases. Client database, for example, if you have a CRM system, you can link it to specific projects. I mean, the, end, the options are endless and I mean, sometimes I'll even have multiple databases that are on the same page. I mean, that's, that's an overview of what's possible with relational databases. There's so much you can really do with it and it's actually a really powerful tool. I encourage you to kind of explore any of the databases that you have, play with them, test it out, connect it up to various databases, have fun with it and I mean, you can see how they can really supercharge your workspace. So if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It'll really help out the channel. For any more Notion and Excel tips, check out the Excel Me blog. Links in the description. And I'll speak to you guys again soon. Thank you.